I don't care where I go, when I go, how long I go. I just love to ride. I've been retired for a year and a half and I'm fulfilling a dream now that I've had all of my life, which is to ride a motorcycle around the world. I love motorcycling and I certainly had a plan before being too old to do so to see as much of the world as possible on two wheels. We're going to ride north from Shanghai through Siberia to Germany. And that's 65 days of traveling, almost 11,000 miles. China was the craziest place I've ever drove in the world. I've never experienced driving like it. I always thought that Siberia had to be very similar to Alaska and similar climate, similar countryside would generate similar people. And I think it does. By traveling the back roads, we saw villages and we saw people that a normal tourist in China is not going to encounter. These people welcomed us into their homes and they taught us about their beliefs and they told us about their history and they were just extraordinarily friendly and I will never forget them. I think as a guide, my biggest challenge leading this tour is to get everybody to Munich. That's what I'm very concerned about. There's very, very long stretches of lonely roads between cities. You can be many hours from uh, assistance. There's been a few people on this trip who I don't think did enough preparation and have suffered because of it. The cedar is bit in the dust. It's going to take its final trip on to the Happy Hunting Grounds in Russia. To meet the people we've been meeting and see the scenery we've been riding through, it's just incredible and uh, it's certainly worth it. We've got 65 days to travel through several different countries where people look very different, act very different, think differently and speak different languages. But it does appeal to one thing that a traveler really likes and that is you never get bored. There's always something new and exciting and different and unexpected just around that next corner.